Today, we're going to meet Cornelius, a Roman army officer. One day when Cornelius was praying, an angel spoke to him and told him to find a man named Peter who had a message for him. So Cornelius sent out some of his servants to go find Peter. Does anybody remember who Peter was? Yep, one of Jesus' disciples, St. Peter. Elsewhere, when Peter was praying alone, the Holy Spirit told him, somebody's looking for you. Just then, Peter heard some guys downstairs saying that they were looking for him. So Peter got up and he went downstairs and he said, I'm the one you're looking for, here I am. The men took Peter to see Cornelius. When they arrived, Cornelius had his whole family and all of his friends gathered together to hear the special message from Peter. Here's the thing. Peter was Jewish, and the Jewish people typically weren't friends with people outside of the Jewish community. That is, though, until Jesus came and brought this brand new message that God's love is for everyone. Peter realized that was the message he was supposed to tell Cornelius. God's love is for everybody. When Cornelius and his friends believed in Jesus, they received the Holy Spirit. And it was very clear to Peter and his Jewish friends that God loves everyone and gives the Holy Spirit to anyone who believes in Jesus. Loving everyone can be a really tough thing to do. But great news, we don't have to do it alone. When we believe in Jesus, we have the Spirit of God, and that Holy Spirit helps us love everyone.